If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. I thought EA weren't going to do anything today because, technically speaking, in Canada, it's family day, but they did do stuff today. So, interesting, interesting. Um, okay, so we'll uh, obviously get both of the showdowns and we'll just try them out in their respective positions. The first one, excuse me, showdown McAllister, 5'9", high medium work rates, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, controlled, explosive player while being right-footed. Play styles. Um, he has dead ball, pinked pass, good play style, incisive pass, good play style, press proven, good play style, and relentless. So press proven with relentless and then good passing and then dead ball. Okay, so you have to use this card as a center mid. That basically just does whatever he wants, pretty much, right? Uh, because in-game attributes, he does have shooting. So you could give him a shadow chemistry style to boost his pace and his defense to be as high as possible. Um, clearly a card that needs the upgrades for him to be like a meta card that's a little bit higher tier, which we'll be checking out, obviously. But shooting is in the mid-80s area. That's actually very nice for a midfielder, so don't mind that whatsoever. Uh, passing on the card is in a really good area. Dribbling we'll be experimenting with because, again, mid-80s for agility and bounce, but reactions, ball control, dribbling and stuff is really good. If you guys watch the review for uh, DePaul, that card is one of those like strange situations where he has dribbling stats set up a certain way, but his left stick is actually pretty solid in game. It doesn't happen that often, right? But with McAllister, this card on a shadow is going to be working with an average body type. So that in the midfield setup can be perfectly fine. It's a midfielder, so no big deal there. Uh, defensive stats will be improved in the shadow. You can tell that the way the card is formatted, he needs the extra like plus two, plus threes, you know? Um, and then for physicalities, Obviously, it would be nice if that was improved too, but it's in the lower side as of right now. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unlock the card. We'll be checking him out in the midfield setup for a 4-3-3 that I'm probably going to be reviewing soon because it's actually really fun to play with. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully, he's a beast. Gonna be able to, it's it's going to be nice to be able to... We're going to pass this from time to time, that's for sure. Oh, that was such a good pass too, man. Oh, pen! What? Ah. Oh. oh, McAllister. Oh, what am I doing? Guy's gonna have sick passes, I'll tell you that right now. No! Oh, McAllister. Yo, this guy's kind of... No! There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'll maybe. I'll take it. I'll take it. We scored. We actually scored. 
Very good, McAllister. Uh, guys, by the way, he's impressing me so far. If he gets an upgrade, he actually might be really nice. Beauty. There we go! Nico! Jackson! Oh, if he didn't touch that, it was Jeej, bro. McAllister. Oi. No foul, man. Let's go, McAllister. That's what I like to see, my boy. Very good, very good. Nice law pass. Oh, Virgil van Dyke. He do be the build different. Not enough pace for that, huh? Calster. There we go. Oh, a lot of pass zings. A lot of pass zings. Oh, give me that. Yo, Van Dyke, please. You're on the same team. Ooh. Oh, the, you gotta come closer to me, my G. Like, you just gotta come closer there. First time pass. Not this year's game, but it's been, it's been a thing in the game for a minute. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that. Oh, no way, and he's gonna get to it first, oh my goodness. Okay. I try to use manual goalkeeping there. I had to switch the direction last second. Let's go. Let's go, boys. On delay. That's what happens when you have that ping pass. Nothing. I like it, McAllister. I like it. Oh! I'll pass? Nice. Oh, Jackson, your emphasis. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, it's close.
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Oh god, that was so... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Try to block that angle. It's hard to say, like, just to clear it, because the guys in the attack, they're attacking AI once you win possession of the ball. is trash. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Actually, tackle there. Let's go, dude. Go on delay. Oh, Mikasa, you beast. Ha, <laughs> actual manual challenge. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the McAllister card. So I tell you guys this all the time. I absolutely hate showdown cards because for the price of the cards, they should just release as the full upgrades. I think this uh, this promo sucks. I really do. Because I'm going to tell you guys something right now, all right, with McAllister. The way that this card performs in-game, he's got a bunch of potential. He's actually pretty solid to work with. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you guys are building some sort of team that requires some Liverpool players, he performs very nicely in-game, right? So when I gave this card the Shadow Chemistry style, my main concern, honestly, was the pace, right? The pace at a 92-90 in certain situations could be on the lower side because this game, you know, if you're not playing a super conservative defense, which you guys know I try not to do as much as possible, um, chasing after like the attackers and stuff is a little bit of a letdown, right? Because of the fact that he's five foot nine with an average body type. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, for everything else, the card performs very, very nicely. Um, attacking AI as one of the center mids that could potentially move, move forward, very nice. You know, I always found myself in situations where I can make the extra pass to him and he finds himself in good spots to get the shots off uh, because of the mid 80s for shooting. Passing on the card, really solid to work with, right? Ping's pass is a huge W play style to work with as a uh, play style plus because the way that it generally performs in game uh, to get those driven passes off in this meta of the gameplay is just incredibly helpful to work with. But it wasn't just the ping's pass, like he actually had very solid passes in general, you know, like when I did a through ball, when I did a law pass, um, they all came off very, very nicely on the card, right? With the dribbling, uh, another thing to mention with the dribbling is that the dribbling actually works out very nicely in game two, right? Another surprise when it comes to uh, the average body type working with the dribbling stats as it is. I like the way that he dribbled in game. You guys know how I did the review for the DePaul card, which was this one right here. And I told you guys, this card actually oddly surprised me in-game. He actually performed significantly better than I thought. Uh, high, high work rates, 5'11", average body type. DePaul kind of plays in a similar way to that, uh, or McAllister kind of plays similar to that DePaul card in regards to being like a nice all-round player. Uh, will it be even better if he gets the upgrade? Yes, I could definitely see him being a really, really solid midfielder, to be honest with you, because in-game, he did perform better than I thought he would, right? He had really good animations for a lot of uh, different situations for me. You know, his AI on the defense worked out very nicely, and I think it'll just be even better once he actually gets those improvements. Because a card like this, if you're playing some sort of like 4-3-3, which I will be doing a review for for this one, this card's going to do really well in one of the, uh, the two center mid positions. I tried him on both of the instructions, which you guys will see in the tactic video, and he performs very well for me. So it's unfortunate. I wish it was just a full upgrade. But just remember, OK, with showdown cards, they could potentially get evolutions, OK? Because remember, when a card like Otavio came out, this showdown card, he had the potential of being turned into an evolution. Right. Even though he did not get the upgrade, you could turn him into an evolution in the future. Now, obviously, with this one, it's more for like the attack and less so for the midfield. But regardless, it's something that you could have done if you really wanted to. Right. Uh, if you're going for meta, obviously, most people went for Malin, but you guys get what I'm saying. But just remember that with the evolutions, it could still get upgrades. So if you get McAllister and you don't think he's going to get a card in the future and you want a card like this in your team, it might be ideal to get him. 
even if he doesn't get the upgrade, but if he gets the upgrade, it's a, it's going to be a pretty solid midfielder, in my, in my opinion. I actually think he performs really well in game. Not on the level of like Bruno Fernandes, because that card's really, really good, but it's still very, very solid. He surprised me, to be honest. Not surprised me. <laughs> I've noticed with cards, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, when they have these two play styles, Press Proven and Relentless, like, look, it's been pretty consistent for some of these cards so far. Press Proven and Relentless, yeah? Relentless Plus, Press Proven. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And then working with technical while getting the driven passes off for, for McAllister. Like I said, for the meta, it's just the pace a little bit low. Bruno was also low in the pace, but Bruno's really solid to use, right? So I say low in the pace because I need players that have like max out pace in this 4 3 3. That's why. But it's still really fun to use. Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.